Now at 11, relief could soon be on the way for millions of struggling Americans forced into a financial fight from the pandemic. Senate Republicans just released their coronavirus stimulus plan. News 6's Troy Campbell is looking through it and joins us with what's in it and what it means for your money. After top Republicans spent the weekend drafting a set of relief bills, they presented them to Democrat leaders this afternoon. Despite both parties being about $2 trillion apart, both sides of the aisle say they agree Americans need another round of checks. On Monday, Senate Republicans unveiling their proposal in an effort to provide a second round of stimulus relief aid after the $2.2 trillion CARES Act passed back in March. In the bill, Senate Republicans proposed to reduce the federal unemployment benefit by $400. We want to continue to help the unemployed, but we want to encourage work. And we've learned a very tough lesson that when you pay people not to work, what do you expect? The $1 trillion Republican legislation also including $100 billion for schools and another $100 billion for small businesses. More direct payments for Americans would also be on the way with another $1,200 check for anyone making $75,000 a year or less. House Democrats passing their own $3 trillion relief bill more than two months ago. The Republican plan is weak tea when our problems need a much stronger brew. The Republican plan not including further relief for local and state governments. Florida Senator Rick Scott tweeting, we must help individuals and businesses that have been hurt, but we can't bail out states to shield them from the consequences of their bad budgeting. Senator Scott also says it doesn't make good business sense to spend more money without a proper audit to see where the first round of relief went. At this point, it's unclear when a vote will take place.